Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Welcome to brand new course, developing mobile applications using Flutter. Flutter is a platform provided by Google to create native mobile applications. It supports both Android and iOS platforms. It can be used without even using Android Studio or Xcode. We'll be developing Flutter apps using Visual Studio Code in this course. Flutter makes use of dot programming, which is quite similar to C++, Java, or C Sharp. So if you are familiar with any of these, you will find yourself at ease when developing applications using dot programming. Flutter makes fast development quite easier, and it has built-in native widgets for building expressive and flexible user interfaces. Flutter is already popular and it is being used across many global organizations for developing mobile applications. So in the next lecture, we'll see how we can set up Flutter. So before proceeding to the Flutter setup, let's discuss why we will be using Dart with Flutter. Now Dart is also created by Google and as a programming language it can be used to create web as well as mobile applications. The primary reason why we'll be using Dart is that it's productive. That is, if you're coming from C++, C Sharp or Java background, you'll really relate yourself with the syntax which is clear and concise. Dart is also fast. That is, it provides optimizing ahead of time compilation to get predictably high performance and fast startup. It's also portable as it compiles to ARM and x86 code base and that's the reason why Dart mobile applications can run natively on Android, iOS and beyond. For web applications, Dart transpiles to JavaScript. As mentioned earlier that Transitioning to Dart is quite easy and it will take a couple of days time to understand the syntax and basics of Dart programming if you're coming from C, C++ or C Sharp or Java background. Dart is also pretty well suited to reactive programming with support for managing short-lived objects such as UI widgets. Dart also supports asynchronous programming through language features and APIs. In order to check out how cool Dart is, we have Dotpad, which can be accessed at dotpad.dotlang.org. So let me give you a quick look to that as well. Here you can see we are accessing dotpad.dotlang.org, and this is a simple program that we have over here. It's a main method, and one can easily relate to a main method in C Sharp or in C++. And here, all we are doing is looping through using a for loop and printing dot is easy and then the value of the variable i. And uh, if I just run this, you'll see the updated code coming up. So it's starting with 0 to 4. I can just change it to 1 and i less than equal to 5. This time when I'll run it, you can see the updated code coming up over here. So that's how easy it is to write code in Dart. We'll be covering the more aspects of Dart as we move along with the Flutter applications that we'll be developing. Now that we have seen what Flutter is and uh, why we will be using Dart to develop applications in Flutter, it's time now to see how we can install Flutter on various platforms. We'll be starting with Windows and then we'll be covering Mac operating system. In order to install Flutter on Windows, the basic system requirement is to have 400 MB of disk space and operating system should be Windows 7 SP1 or later and it must be 64-bit. You must have Windows PowerShell and Git for Windows installed with the option Use Git from the Windows command prompt. We then need to have Flutter SDK. It's available as a zip file and you can grab the latest one from this URL that is flutter.io docs get started install windows. 
Once you have downloaded the zip file, you can extract it inside a directory, let's call it Flutter. And then in that directory, you'll find a batch file called flutter underscore console dot batch. You just need to double click on it to execute it. And once done, you'll be able to run flutter from your command prompt. You can also go ahead and update the path variable of your Windows path. And there you need to include flutter slash bin in your path. So that way you can execute flutter from anywhere. So from any given directory, you can execute the command flutter. After that, you need to ensure that you have all the things properly set up. And to do that, you'll be running Flutter Doctor. Now Flutter Doctor checks your environment and displays a report of the status of your Flutter installation. After that, if you want to work closely on a Windows, you must have Android Studio set up. It's not a requirement, but if you have it, it will be better. So in order to install Android Studio, you can follow the instructions provided in the same URL, flutter.io docs, get started, install Windows. We'll be covering how to install Flutter and integrate it with Visual Studio Code on Windows operating system. I already have Android Studio set up on my system. So what I'll do now is quickly show you how to download the Flutter SDK, extract it and run the Flutter console.batch file. So let's get started. So here I'll be downloading the Flutter Windows version 1.0.0 stable.zip it's around 321 mb it will take a couple of minutes to download so you can see that i have extracted the contents now inside a directory called flutter and then we have this file called flutter underscore console dot batch you just need to double click on this to run it and there you have it this is your flutter console now and let's go ahead and run flutter doctor now you can see that there's one instruction given so we can just copy this and paste it over here I've already installed it so here you can see that it's cloning now now that I have cloned a copy of it I can go ahead and run flutter doctor so here you can see that it says that if you want to disable the analytics data that being that gets sent to Google you can just go ahead and run this command flutter config no analytics to disable analytics and crash and here you can see the issues that Flutter Doctor found. So Flutter, Channel Beta, Microsoft Windows version this, that's fine. Now Android Toolchain, developed for Android devices, SDK 25.0.1, the license status is unknown. Then we have Android Studio version 3.1, but it says that Flutter plugin not installed. And Dart plugin is not installed as well. So these are the two things that we'll need to take care of. And then it has got this IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. For that, we need to have Flutter and Dart plugin installed as well. Now it also identified that VS Code, Visual Studio Code 32-bit edition is available and there are no devices connected. So in the next lecture, what we'll do is we'll be going ahead and we'll be installing these plugins and we'll also set a Visual Studio Code integration. In the previous lecture, we downloaded the Flutter SDK and when we ran this Flutter Doctor, there were certain issues that were coming up. For instance, we need to take care of this Android license status unknown. And then for the Android Studio, we have to include Flutter plugin and Dart plugin. So here I have opened my Android Studio and I'll go to File. Then we need to go to Settings and uh, inside the plugins will be searching for flutter and here you can see we have flutter now so we'll click on this install and just accept it over here plugin want you to install requires dot which have to be installed as well proceed yes and this will basically install both flutter as well as dot plugin and next you can click on restart android studio and click ok over here so let's go ahead and do this. So as you can see, it's now loading again, Android Studio. And once it's done loading, what we'll do is we'll rerun the Flutter Doctor command. So here, I'll go and I'll say Flutter Doctor. And let's see what's the status now. And there we have it. It says Android Studio version 3.2. And the Flutter and Dart plugin error messages that were earlier coming up 
on our result. So all we need to do is take care of this Android license status unknown thing. So let's go ahead and try resolving that as well. In order to resolve the Android licenses issue, what I've done is in the command prompt, as you can see, I executed this command SDK manager space dash dash update. And once it's done, you'll be back at the command prompt. Now the next step will be to execute the flutter doctor Android licenses and let's see how it goes. You can see that it has started it now. And all you need to do is accept all the terms and conditions that will appear on the screen. So let me maximize it. And here I'll be selecting Y for this as yes. Again, Y. Again, Y. Again, Y. Again, Y over here. And that's pretty much it. Next, we'll be running Flutter Doctor minus V. That's the verbose mode where you'll get all the detailed analysis of the Flutter Doctor command. So now here you can see Flutter Channel Beta. Everything is in place. For Android Toolchain, we have all the prerequisites. That's Android SDK. Then we have NDK Platform Android, Android Home, Java Binary, Java Version, and all Android licenses accepted. And then for the Android Studio, we have Android Studio, Flutter Plugin, Dot Plugin, and Java Version. So this is it that we need for developing Android applications using Flutter. For VS Code, you can see that it says the 32-bit edition is available and we have not installed the Flutter extension. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also, check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.